This book is called 365 Science Activities. It has lots of fun activities which you can do at home. I like this book because it has a massive variety of fun activities to do, so there's bound to be something you want to do. This book is able to last for a year and also a leap year. My favourite activity is activity number 128, making goo. Let's be real, who doesn't like goo? This book is called Frank Einstein by Antimatter Motor. In this book is about a boy called Frank Einstein and he creates things and he creates two robots for the Midbird Science Fair. Well, I think it was easy to use because there was like lots of illustrations, like how he made his robots. I liked Frank Einstein because it's very action and adventure based. This book is really good because it, it can inspire children to create things and it gets really interesting when its arch rival comes up and tries to spoil it the Midwest Science Fair. And I think because all the scientific words in here, they're sort of explained by Frank as well. A book that is a mixture of science, fantasy and cartoons. A great book for bedtime stories. Jake's book is a book written by a boy called Jake about his bow collection. It had lots of good illustrations because it used a mixture of actual pictures and cartoons, which I think was very a very ingenious use. The book's really appealing because it's got a picture of a dinosaur skeleton on the front. Good book for people who collect fossils and bones and it can help you find out what they are. The book is also well laid out. For example, this page showing pictures of a fox in his bone collection next to information about it. It used a lot of scientific things, explaining a lot about the different bones of different creatures, and it was very good for people of different ages. It's bone-tastic! My favourite page in the whole book is this page about dinosaurs, because I really love dinosaurs. Jake's Bones also gives you advice on how to recognise bones. For example, this page tells you how to identify human bones and animal bones. Sky watching the best because it includes facts on, on things that also teach you stuff like the constellations. It's a really nice layout, it's got a nice cover as well, it, like, it keeps it um, durable so you can have it full on plan. Um. What I liked about the book was because it gave us some more in depth facts about each planet. It is an amazing book due to the zip and it's really eye-catching uh, due to the photography and the photography just makes it a mind-blowing book. It also shows you where constellations are, for example, that. It's got interesting things and it's, it's a really easy book to read. They've got loads of pictures and photos about each planet and the stars. This book is called Tiny, The Invisible World of Microbes. This book is written by Nicola Davis and illustrated by Emily Sutton. It is mi about microbes, big and small, and all their different shapes and sizes. This book is really interesting because it has big pictures and is suitable for all ages. This book's good for young children because it's got facts that they expect to learn in secondary school. It's a big book about small creatures. I liked it because I think it was a good way for young children to learn about microbes and I think it was also a good way to make you learn quite active and help. Hello there. Who or what are you? I'm a bear cell and I'm reading all about myself. Go on, pick up the book. It's got great pictures all about me. You can discover the amazing world of cells. So is this book actually any good? Of course. <laughs> Robert Winston's Utterly Amazing Science is an interesting and informative book. It is able to condense rather difficult topics, which are taught higher up in the school, into more simplistic ideas, while still retaining the complex vocabulary used. 
which can be extremely useful for younger audiences. It's really interesting because it like gives lots of facts and it's not really boring facts, it's like facts that like the most important facts but it's like presented in a fun way. But the reason I like this book is because it has amazing pop-ups which to be honest made me go crazy because I love pop-ups. Pop-ups, longer and interesting facts. The pop-ups are able to illustrate a whole wide range of science, from atomic science to volcanic eruptions. We also think the hand-on experiments suggest it will be very popular with the younger audience. Overall, this is an outstanding read, and I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if this book won the awards. Don't put it so on, James. Wait, James. <laughs>